Welcome to the last defense. This, um, well, the image is sort of like, you know, in metal, last defense, with a red flaming, not flaming, but like glowing arrow in between, and like this big black and red, like, armor piece. And then when you look at it in like the downloads folder and stuff, it's like a green background that's like sparkly with like some really crappily drawn gray figures and stuff. Um, AKA this to this. Mostly negative. What did I Technologies, because it's called I. What else did they do? Uh, Skyfall, which is a Doom-looking game where you shoot scientists and it looks awful. And then Physical Madness, which is again, looks pretty much exactly the same. It's mixed as opposed to their other games which are mostly negative. Good. Well, um, let's have a look. So the popular tags for this are Indie Strategy Adventure Tower Defense. Fantastic. Uh, sort of looks a bit like a tower defense, I suppose, and last defense sounds like a tower defense -y sort of name. Uh, system requirements, only minimum, nice and quick here. Windows XP, Vista 7, 8.1, but not 8, apparently, and 10. Uh, processor, Intel Core 2 Duo, or equivalent, 2 megabyte, uh, two gigabytes of RAM. Uh, graphics card, read it for 1 gigabyte of VRAM, compatible with DX9. Uh, DX version 9 and 128 megabyte available storage. So keep 128 megabytes of storage uh, in your mind because the game is actually 14 megabytes. Where do they get the 128 from when the game is 14 megabytes? That's my question. And I just finished doing the um, James Fighter Aircraft, the uh, Strike Fighter uh, thing video. So yeah. Uh, oh god, I need to go back to the store page. Right. Um, actually, no, I don't because that's it. Also, Two Point Hospital just released, who, and they were the uh, developers of Theme Hospital, I believe. So, I think so. Uh, so that might be fun to get if you enjoy that sort of thing. But yes, so let's open up Last Defense. I assume this is going to open up in a little command prompt. No one, yeah, yeah, sure, Steam, you can do that. Uh, setting up first time set up. Okay. Also, I'm going to just, oh god, the resolution's gone to about, like, 480p. Jesus, what's happened to her? I mean, you can't see anything, you just see a black screen, but... What? Why, why, why am I in... Arg! Why is it gone weird? Arg! Ah! What's happened? OBS, record this, in case it's useful. Oh, this has gone badly. It's not... It's not being in 1080p... Uh, no! Stop being like 480 per- oh, hold on a minute. Loading map audio? Oh, this is gonna be loud, isn't it? Ah, it's out of stupid menu now. Right. Um, okay, so this is running in 30 FPS. Hold on a minute, let me just turn the audio down. Okay, so here's the thing. If you tap- oh, it's gone wide. If you tap out- Ah, oh, shutting hell, this is awful. I apologise in advance if the audio for this is way too loud, but it's just- I can't, there's, there's, yeah, it should be okay. So, yes, it's a lot quieter now for me, and it should be a lot quieter for you. Okay, so, uh, this is Last Defense. It currently, as far as I'm aware, it has no options, and it has no anything else. So, it boats up at about 240p, is capped at 30 FPS, because I probably don't want to try and, do, oh god. Bring something to the edge of the, what, the... Oh, to move, I see, okay. Yeah, I, I get how that works. Okay, so, where's my money? 200. Well, let's equip two of these then. Oh, okay, put one there. And... There. Well, hey. Oh, you're supposed to rotate those? Okay, bring the screen to, back to the edge of the screen to move. I mean, I, I have a... Oh, you, yeah, you, yeah, rotate. Uh, rotate? Yes, okay, I know how to do this. I'm not stupid. Good, do that. Actually, no, yeah, you should rotate that way because you get a better coverage of there and then you should go there. What? No, there, there. How do you start? Do the way. So you press escape to close the game. That's good. Right, so let's boot this up again. Right, so start. Yes. Bring your cursor to the edge of the screen to move the camera. Yes, I can do that, because I am a smart person. He's supposed to like put it to the right to the edge, because I can't really do this. Okay, I can't actually, because there's no... 
Yeah, I've done... Oh, start... Oh, you click that to start the wave. I see. Okay, well, put that there. And then put that there. Sure. We'll go with that. And then rotate you around and rotate you around and around. Sure, what's this? It doesn't say because it's off the screen. Increase damage output. Increase visual radius. Increase tower... Some vision, probably, and resistance to priest attacks. Sell this tower, gain what... Uh, okay, start the wait. So you got a priest, or I think... No, I think that's just... You only have two people. Oh, okay. So... Could you move faster, for God's sake? Right, well, straight away, I know I'm not going to recommend this in the slightest. So... Uh, better games, you could get uh, Sanctum. That's uh, a weird sort of game, but it's quite good. As a tower defense, it's sort of a first person def. Oh, you're going down there. It's sort of a first. I think, it's is this turn based? I think this is turn based. <laughs> so that pawn moves. And oh no, they both move the same time there. Ooh. Anyway, yeah, Sanctum, that's quite good. That has uh, sort of a first person tower defense. You build the tower sort of boxes and stuff, and then you also uh, go around shooting the. Monsters of Death. Fire! Oh, in range! Oh, oh god, I'm yawning. You're in range, fire! Oh no, not that. Fire! That, wow! Oh! Oh! You, what? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Is there not a speed up thing? Why isn't this going? It's fast! Fast! Speed the game up, you stupid thing! Why not just go this way? What's the point of doing that, you bell? Okay. Um. And if you have a VR headset, then there's uh, uh, quite a good-looking game called was it Kitty Apocalypse? That's the one uh, where there's cats and you have to fire lasers at them. Place like things around the place and then it fires lasers. And that's quite a good tower defense game. Plus other good tower defense games in VR. Wow, I've got sixty quid. Oh, so I can just put this here to stop them from going that way, so I can speed up the game. Wow, two D, a two D game that's pretty good. Um, I forget what it's called, but it's a zombie game in, um, of the Xbox 360. Oh, there's four of them now! I'm gonna speed this up to a, a normal speed that these would move at. Oh, no, they're moving! Oh, no. Wait, they're moving? No. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that was just the sound of me hitting my head into the keep. Oh. So you're just going that way anyway, even though, I'll fair enough. Oh, good shouting Christ, have a speed up button. Move at a decent velocity, you stupid thing. Just go faster. How difficult would it be? Sure, you could have a creeping horde, but if you're going to have a creeping horde, have a large horde that's still moving and doesn't just randomly stop at any given moment and have archers that are more pathetic. Have a weak air thing, and then improve upon that over time, you know. Have something that only finds like, an arrow every three seconds, and then an arrow every two seconds, and an arrow every one second, with each consecutive upgrade. Have these people level up more, and... Um, I can just place these anywhere. Yeah, you can. Okay. Um... Well, I pressed escape accidentally. So, that's all I'm gonna play of this, because I'm gonna get that refund now. <laughs> oh dear. Um, so that's not. That's not good. Yeah, so I'm just gonna get that refund now while I do the outro. Uh, yeah, so there's there's plenty of good tower defense games. Sanctum, um, balloons. Is it balloons? Yeah, balloons. There's monkeys and stuff. It's quite good that. Uh, you get, uh, I think it's Bloons TD5, that was called. I think it's a free version of that as well. Um, I'm just gonna go to store page just to investigate. I think it's Bloons. Um, TD5. Yes! Bloons, that's the one. B L O B L L B O L B L O O N S. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, it, that's. It's quite nice, that. It's quite a good, decent tower defense sort of thing. Um, I mean, what other games are there under Tower Defense that aren't crap? Uh, I'm trying to access the thing. Actually, no, I'm not. Yeah, you just go, um, there. Okay, what are the Tower Defense games? Yet another zombie game. That's on my wish list to play. Dig or Die, Defense, Mars or Die. Oh, that's negative reviews. And 17 quid, so I'm not going to review that. 
Um, uh, castle must be mine. Alright, that's positive. Um, mines and magic, you defend- what about just if I have like top selling? Top selling, they are billions! That's a fantastic one! There we go, that's- that's a tower defense, isn't it? Yeah, they are billions. Balloons, TB- uh, TD5. Trading card bundle in one for eighth floor, whatever. Tripwire complete bundle, rock of age two, bigger the boulder, bigger and bolder. I think that was quite a good video from what I remember. Or the, the re a video game, I mean. Um, the original one, anyway. Yeah, that's just there. Infested planet. Do I have that? I think I have that. Um, ancient, oh, ancient tower defense. That looks just normal. Um, dwarfs! Exclamation mark, question mark. Uh, Orcs must die. Sanctum 2. Toy soldiers complete. Oh, yeah, um, if you, uh, have, not you, played the other one for... Uh, the Red Origin, that's the one. If you have Origin, you could get, um, for free, you could get Dungeon Keeper, the, the one that was remade for console, and why is my chair making that noise? Uh, one that was remade for console, uh, not console, mobile, and, uh, I don't want to think about that. Um, but yeah, that was the thing. Just, yeah, just don't buy this. Don't buy this. Unless you buy it just to get a refund, um, yeah, when was that actually made? Um, yeah, um, store page. Yes, okay. Uh, it was made, oh, this was released on the 9th of January 2018 by iTechnology. It also did Skyfall in 2017 in July and Physical Madness in August. 2017. So the, the last, so the the best game they made, they made almost a year ago. Actually, no, just over a year ago. Um, and that's mixed at 50% with 12 user reviews. I kind of want to just just make games just to like you know add small cheap indie games that aren't terrible. That's what I just want to do there. I mean, not to say that games I make won't be terrible, but I won't release them unless they're somewhat playable. Like if I build a if I were to make a tower defense game, I wouldn't make a crap one where the people move at two millimeters a second. Jesus Christ. Oh God. You know what? I'm just gonna have Sanctum on uh, for the, the rest of this video just for like another five minutes to see what that's like. I also have Sanctum 2 which I've never played. How much is Sanctum? Uh, it is... 719 weird price and you can buy four the a, a pack of four of them for 2379 so you and three other people can play it um it works fine it runs fine um unless you have massive lag issues that i once had but that was just due to the game bit weird opening art but sod it's fine coffee stain studios which i think have made other games that i know of let's have a little look but yeah um what have they made Sanct oh, they made Goat Simulator, yeah. Wait, they made Goat si Okay, so they made Goat Simulator. What else? I've been playing something recently over there also. Maybe the publishers, but they did... What other no, games? What have I been playing recently that they made? It was a good game, I think. What was it? Not a DLC. Why have I clicked games and it's brought up DLC? Um, a story about my... Oh, I know that. That was a weird thing. Um, Sanctum. What have I been playing recently that had that? I could just look at my recents, couldn't I? Um, recent. Recent games. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, was it Metro? I think it was Metro. Was it Metro? No, that was Deep Silver. Oh, I don't know, but yes, um, yes, this is Sanctum, just loads us up uh, last time I played this, which was quite a while ago, to be honest. Um, you build some stuff, uh, where's, yeah, like, here's, like, a big tower thing I made, don't fall off the edge. Big, sort of, you know, death wall with lots of turrets of death. Um, yes, didn't die, fantastic. Yeah, you can upgrade things, you can press, is it Q, shift, shift, and then you can upgrade your weapons, then you can press enter to start the wave, and then you get, like, these, oh, no, that's the, the, the to press enter to start with yes enter how do I how, oh god why is this not working press enter to start do I need to spend all the money first 
Ah, so if so, let's just do that. Why not? Let's just upgrade the scatlings, then do this. Why is the uh, resume not working? I don't know. Let's just spend all my money. Upgrade the killing floors, not to be related to the game killing floor. Press start to start the wait. Start the wave. Um, was there was there like a oh hey okay sure. I don't know what's happening. And then, you know, you have like invisible walls somewhere. Where is it? Here. And it's like, oh, and then you move past it and you can teleport into here. And then, boom, I'm back. There weren't actually invisible walls. I thought they were. But okay, right. And then you can go through these gaps in the wall here. And then be like, oh, there's loads of Gatlings. And then you get these things with big glowy bits on their backs. So you can just shoot them and they do more damage as opposed to shooting them below. And it's like, oh, look at them with their rampaging hordes of death. Shoot them in the face. Ah. Ah. And then you get hit, and it's like, oh no, I'm shaky. And then you shoot that, and then you swap to another weapon while it cools down. And then you swap to a shotgun, and then just sh sh get shattered up by a rampaging horde of two legged beasts. Shatting hell, I'm up here now. And then, you know, you hop over here, and then just keep shooting them. Be like, yeah, down the face, suckers. Yeah, yeah, I'm the best. Die. And then it runs with a beautiful 62 FPS, because apparently, yes. Now you can you, know, you can right click and then like fire do 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 boom, but kaput release that's the one to do and then sniper rifle is to zoom in and then main pistol is like grenades which does like loads of damage although this has already done way more damage so don't know why you would bother doing that and you can just save up doop 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 and then kaboom 1400 damage and then just ah, down the face I think that yeah you do more damage the more you hit with these things um. Ow. So yeah, um, pistols are pretty good with this sort of weapon. Um, and yeah, and then you win, and it's like, yeah, I've won. Flip you, and I've upgraded my shotgun, and I've upgraded my sniper rifle, and I've upgraded this again, and I've started the wave again. You just press E. Okay, that's what you do. Cool, I'm just an idiot. Right. Um, yes. So, and then you just like, okay, let's start this off again. And you can't go through here, then you go through here instead. And like, yes, let's start this off again. And be like, oh, look, there's some people over here, there's people coming from here. Is this an air map? Yes, it is! Crap! Okay, sniper rifle out! Kaboom! 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 Ow, oh dear, my air defences are better further back, I think. Um, air defence is usually on top. It's like, oh, look, some stuff. Oh, look, it's a flying dragon. It's a double dragon. Oh, look at me referencing games. And he's like, oh, look, it's you, and it's you, and it's, you know, you, and you. And you reload, and you go, yes, you're close enough now, die in the face! Then you go to your sniper rifle again, and just shoot them once, because that's usually enough, and then the turrets will be able to take them out. And it's, it's good, and it's fun, as opposed to that other pile of crap that was horrible. And this is basically now, I've got more footage of Sanctum than I have the other thing, and this wasn't a Sanctum review, so, well done. Um... I mean, it, I mean, the good thing about playing that game, it, it made me play this game. I mean, it, it made me. I mean, it just reminded me of this exists and was like, yeah, sure, let's play this. Why not? Um, so, yeah, this is a far superior game, but I can't get through the sodding. I'm going to have to go through my own maze of death. It's, uh, don't go into the thing, you fools. No. Shat. Shat. Reload. Um, just get over here. Yes. Crap. Crap. Bad things are happening. No. Don't get into the blue, weird, poorly thing. Ah, it's a ball of death. Die in the face. Yeah. I think we're fine. And yeah, the uh, portal you have to defend over there's on 80%. But yeah, this is, um, it's just a good game. I would, re I would recommend you get this instead. It's also a bit old. There's Sanctum 2 as well, which is probably better, but I've never actually played it. I haven't got it installed, but I did get it a while ago, I think. Uh, when, um, I'll just search Sanctum. Uh, got that, purchased it, oh, November 2017. That's not long, that long ago, I thought it was much earlier. Okay. Anyway, yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, um, mostly me playing Sanctum. And goodbye. Oh, it was free. The last, uh, news was on November the 17th when it was like, hey, it's free on Humble Bundle, so I probably just got it there. Okay. Uh, when did I get this then? Um, I got the map pack 2014, 20, uh, 24th of August. Doesn't say the year, but it's probably. 15 or 16. So yes, um, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, uh, and goodbye! There are plenty of better games than that, that was probably the worst one I've played. Is that the worst game I've played? I think it is, because that...
didn't even have potential. It, it that was it's it's like I assume it's pretty damn easy to make a tower defense. They're probably not that difficult, and they're usually quite you know easy, fun, boo 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 boo, done. But this is just crap. Yeah, goodbye.